Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limble's product team. Today, we're going to be talking about task priorities in Limble. Priorities do exactly as they sound. They help you manage work by designating a level of urgency to a task. This video will teach you about the default priorities in Limble, how to create new task priorities, how to configure default priorities in task settings, and how priorities can be used on the custom dashboard. Depending on your permissions and plan with Limble, some of your screens may be different than mine. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team. Let's get started. In Limble, you'll find three task priorities preloaded in your account, low, medium, and high. Super users can configure additional task priorities to meet the unique needs of your organization. Navigate to the Configuration tab of the Settings page and scroll down to General Task Settings. Under Priorities, click Customize. In the new window, you can make changes. You can change the existing names of task priorities in the text fields. You can configure custom colors for your priorities by clicking on the colored square or entering the hex code in the text field. By default, Limble assumes all new tasks are low priority. This can be changed by checking the box next to Default Priority for your desired default priority. To add a new priority level, click Add a Priority. When the priority populates, give it a name and a color. In this example, I'm creating a critical priority level and giving it a purple color. You can change the order of your task priorities by hovering to the left until the four-way arrow icon appears, then dragging and dropping the priority in the desired order. This is how they will appear when configuring the priority within a task. You may decide that specific tasks or task types need their own specific default priority. For example, you may decide that all work requests should be medium priority, while one of your daily inspection PMs should always be high priority. To change a task's default priority, open your desired task template and navigate to advanced settings by clicking the cog icon. From the new list of options, next to default priority, click the current priority and select your new desired priority from the dropdown. In this example, I will make this annual inspection a high priority task. Now, when this annual inspection generates, it will be considered a high priority task, even though the default priority I configured from the settings page is low priority. This gives you flexibility and allows you to create specific priorities for specific tasks. We know that priorities can change, which is why you can change a task priority after a task generates and is open or in progress. At the top of a task, Click on the task priority. From the dropdown, choose your new desired priority. You can also change the priority of multiple tasks with bulk actions. From the Manage Work page, click Bulk Actions and select Change Priority in the dropdown. In the new window, select your desired tasks and click Select. Then choose your new desired priority and click Change. Then verify your choice and you're done. You can create custom widgets to look at the current status of tasks by priority. This can be helpful to see how many tasks at each priority need to be completed, and from there you can re-delegate or check in on work as needed. Navigate to the Custom Dashboards page. In this example, we'll build four task widgets to look at open and in-progress tasks by critical, high, medium, and low priority. I'll create a tile widget with the following options. I want tasks. I will select all task types and choose a status of open and in progress. For the task priority, I will select critical priority with a created date of all time. So I capture all tasks. I will display the number of tasks and make the tile color purple for critical priority. Finally, I'll name this open and in progress tasks critical. I will duplicate my widget three more times for high, medium, and low priority tasks. The only options I will need to change are the priority and tile colors, and I should rename the widgets accordingly. 
Now I can clearly see which of my open and in progress tasks are higher priority and manage my work from there. Thanks so much for watching. If you have additional questions, visit our Help Center or reach out to our support team to learn more.